Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. This channel I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is all about the central tendency of the data. Okay. Suppose uh, in the data set, there are different kind of data is are there, and you wanted to find out some central tendency of the data. So I'm just writing over here central tendency okay central tendency of the data so in that case what happened is that suppose uh, there are different different people are there in the organization and they have a different different experiences and different different salaries also <clears throat> suppose i'm just taking the experiences of people so suppose experiences So suppose somebody have to 10 years of experience somebody have years of experience somebody have 11 years of experience okay so suppose there are three people they have a different different experiences so you wanted to find out the what is the average of those values central tendency in that case what you will do 10 plus 8 11 5 put the number of three because there are three values over there so it will be something around uh, it is going to be around uh, 21 plus 8 that is 29 by 3 so that is going to be the uh, mean value of the data set okay this is central tendency for mean this is called the basically the mean okay this is the mean value so now what you can do you can also find out the median value so what is the median value median value would be something around suppose for this example there are 10 that is 8 that is 11 okay. there are three uh, three uh, number three items over there basically so whenever that's a odd number that is 3 is odd in that case you will just take the uh, media uh, like basically the middle value that is called the median that's the median value okay so suppose there is some other item just add it over there suppose you put the 12 over here in that case what you do we we'll just take the average of this two midi middle parts over here. so you'll take the average of it so suppose it will be around 19 by 2 19 by 2 so that will be the median value okay so what happened is that when there is an outlier in the data set like something which is way beyond in the data set suppose here 10 8 11 and in that case suppose some value which is uh, around uh, let's put some other color suppose it is uh, around 200 200 experience is not possible that's outlet suppose somebody have the experience of uh, how many years uh, i'm just hypothetically it is taking maybe somebody have 60 years of experience it is more realistic in that case what happened is that uh, what happened is that that 60 is going to influence the mean because you are just taking the sum and divided by in that case it is going to be 4 right so it is going to be around 10 plus 8 plus 11 plus 60 by it is going to be 4 okay so it is going to be more and more higher than this value so it is influence this particular mean value it is not exactly the central tendency which is coming in the mean in that case what can help you out over here so suppose for this example uh, 10 8 11 and it is going to be 60 right so in that case what happened is that if you take the mode value so for the mode value what it will take we we'll just take the average of these two values okay so it is going to be around 19 by 2 still it is 19 by 2 median value it will be able to give you the central tendency of the data and <clears throat> this is the median value and wh what is the mode value so mode is something like just writing them over here mode is basically nothing other than what is the most common value in the data set so over here it is uh, not coming what i expected to give you the mode value so i'm just writing a new uh, number so suppose here it is 10 here it is 8 
that is 11 okay. then there is 11 there is 11 there is 10 there is uh, uh, there is 4 okay there is 2 so this is the different different uh, experiences we are getting so over here you can see this this particular value like 11 11 this is coming most common in the data set so this is coming most common in the data set so that this particular gives you the mode of 11 so you can write mode is as 11 11 so this is called the mode so basically whenever you wanted to find out the central tendency you should consider three of the option one is mean another one is the uh, median another one is the mode if you see compare these three things in that case you can easily find out what is the exact uh, central tendency because the methodology of finding out is little different but if the mean is closer to each other all the three values should come almost in a similar direction so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos i make for data science i'll see you soon with a new video thank you for watching my video thanks